Super lightweight action for three minute rounds. Ronnie Nichols taking on Ricky Leach. The undefeated Ronnie Nichols making his debut in 2002. Looking to go 4-0 against a much more experienced Ricky Leach. Slick Rick. Yeah, Ricky Leach has been around for years. Great, uh, Seconds great out, round journeyman. one. Leach, an experienced fighter since 2014. Ronnie Nichols carrying considerable power for the weight. Loves to test with the jab and let things open up from there. Yeah, it comes out of a good camp, uh, Ronnie Nichols, out of the Hoddesdon gym. Loads of talented boys. Very much the same as the Rumble gym, where run the amateur club, and that obviously feeds through into the pro camp. So they generate a lot of good fighters. Good right hand to the body there. Good change of angles there as well from Nichols. That's nice. Nice stiff jab. Nichols testing here. Two wins by unanimous nod on his record so far. Won every round in eight bar one. And as that 19 year old resume is growing, You're only going to face experienced fighters, including actually an, uh, Alexander Taylor, who was 20, 39, and 2 at the time. So that was his pro debut in 2002. Leach, of course, needs no introduction. Most recent contest was March. This is a really strong start, this from Nichols. Good right hand there from Nichols as well. Nichols to the body, pressing with the jab. And you can see what I mean about his style. He just tests with the jab and yeah. then just really commits. Really, really nice. Nice and relaxed as well. It's almost what we wanted to see from Zach Fee. Yeah, 100%. It's, yeah. Yeah, spot on. Lovely right hand. I was drilling in down the middle. It was lovely work. Ricky Leach has gone bright red already from them right hands. And there was a time in Ricky Leach's career where we used to see a little bit more of a proactive approach from him. Yeah, he's, um, he, like I say, he's been around for, me, for years here, but um, he's in with someone who's got heavy hands. He's got bags of talent by the looks of it, so he's just shelling up at a minute. But um, Nichols is having a strong, strong first round. Nichols finding his way through the peekaboo guard. To the body here. From Nichols. He's nice and relaxed in their moments. Just as he gets close, he, he don't tense up. That's lovely there. Roll and work. Good kid. Very nice round. Solid round here for Ronnie Nichols. And it would seem that Ricky Leach's corner is calling for some footwork here. Yeah, he, needs to, he needs to get on the move. Round and two. Stop letting um, Nichols hold his feet. Because the second he sets his feet, he's letting the man's go and he's got some. Um, He's got some really good power behind him shots. And a very steady, intense pace so far from Ronnie Nichols. Will Ricky Leach be able to make any adjustments here? Tough as they come, Ricky Leach. So I could imagine he's seen these sort of, uh, these sort of rounds before. But if, he, if, he, uh, if Nichols can get Ricky Leach out of there, that's a, uh, that's a big, big statement. Well, Leach seemingly moving away from the power hand a little bit, trying to find a home for the jab down the middle. I'm close to that one. Lovely and relaxed, even when he's in range. I'd like to see a, little, a few feints from him as well, though. Just try to get a reaction out of Ricky Leach. Really whips that right hand in. One to the body, one to the head. Lovely change of angles. That was a great shot, great feet. Shows really, really like clever boxing there for, um, for a young kid coming through. 
That's really, really good. And effortless power generation yeah. as well. There's nothing too much, nothing too labored, everything just very clean technique. And that's, when you say a guy's got power at the weight, that can mean a couple of different things, right? It might yeah. be natural physical power, but this is just technical power generation. It's because he's so relaxed as well. He gets, he gets real good whip into his shots where he's so relaxed and he just fires it in. Like you say, great balance, great technique. But, um, yeah, this is, a, this is a very, very strong performance, this. Nichols putting together the pieces here as he just continues to box up Ricky Leach. And what has been another clinical round for the young man from Hollow Essex just down the road. Tries changing the angle again. Not even that, just pops one around the side. Likes them testing shots, sort of probe. Yeah, just the hard one to It's a really, really good performance. Ricky Leach just eating right to the body after right to the body. Big red spot right off Ricky Leach's ribs where he keeps landing that shot. And it's just been fundamentals done right for Ronnie Nichols at this juncture. Yeah, yeah, massively. Great, good balance. I keep going on about how relaxed he is, but yeah, he's um, really, really impressed me. And we've seen it from other fighters tonight become a little bit too over-anxious, right? They've got the skills, they've got the limelight, it's time to go. But we've seen none of that here from Ronnie Nichols against a tough guy. Yeah, he's obviously got a very uh, composed head on his shoulders. He's really coming through in a way he's boxing. That's another fantastic man. We have a scheduled four here at Super Lightweight. Once again, thank you so much for joining us on BBTV. You are watching Top Tier Momentum. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and YouTube. There'll be additional updates, all kinds of social highlights, interviews. Plenty of more content as we continue the journey in 2023. John Clark, all sorts of plans. And he's putting on some good, good shows. I mean, as far as um, small shows concerned, I mean, I've not some, seen one done up like this. It's, uh, it's fantastic what Johnny Clark's doing. Trying to change the angle up again. Doesn't force anything. It falls really, really nice and smart. Nice little faint there. And that's the thing, when you're trying to find an opening against a guy who has really been there and done that, Ricky yeah. Leach, you necessarily have to have those precautions as you faint, as you try to fake punches, as you try to test and then find an opening for your power yeah well you've got someone like Ricky Leach in front of you he's going to um, he's going to be on the defensive little feints and changes of angles like that it um it opens up gaps for you it might you might draw something out of Ricky Leach but um everything he's doing is um is a star at the minute unbelievable Nichols testing with the jab right left hook from Leach there yeah I was going to say right hook came over the top of the guard but Gotta watch out for the counter from Ricky Leach. Leach covers up. Leach again, looking for the left hook. Nichols confidently changing the angle. Under 60 seconds here. And is there any point in this contest, if you're Ryan Nichols, where you ask yourself the question, what do I need to do to get this guy out of here? Uh, that's, that is, that's the one danger, because Ricky Leach is going to be so tough. Could he start getting frustrated? Could he start getting a little bit overexcited? I don't, I, I don't see him doing that, but that's when it starts creeping, if then he tries to pull something. But he's been so relaxed and composed so far, I don't think, it doesn't look like he's got that in his makeup, really. Ricky Leach trying to come forward a bit more this round. He's found himself back up on the ropes here and he's getting pinged with that right hand again. Another very solid round from Ronnie Nichols. And a very, very calculated round from Ronnie Nichols. Seconds out. 
four. And final round. Look of focus from Ronnie Nichols off the bench. Deep breaths from Ricky Leach. I think that really much tells the whole story. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be taking some breaths after a few of them body shots. So, yeah. Ten seconds in, But he always manages to stay in there, Ricky Leach. Tough man. But that's good for um, that's good for Ronnie Nichols, you know. He's um, he's getting the rounds out. He's in there getting the experience. That's what he's journeyman for. You to develop your skills under these lights in front of in front of a crowd. Oh, before you step up into big title fights. Judges his distance really well, Nichols as well. And there's little wasted movement. You can see him kind of get inside, hit the body shot, wait, break. Slides, slides out of range, and then once once Ricky Lynch comes out of his shell, then he comes back in again. Really, really good. Nice work from him. And it's so easy to see happen, right? But when you're in there in the midst of the chaos. Oh, yes, it's, it's really hard to do. I mean, like um, getting drawn into situations like this, when you've got everyone here shouting for you and stuff like that, it's so easy to get overwhelmed and, and end up like... A bit like what Zach Fee done earlier, just be a little bit over eager, but um, he's not doing that at all. But I expect Zach Fee to, that's obviously just his first fight. He'll, um, he'll be he's exactly the same as this in a few fights' time. But um, Ronnie Nichols with a complete, complete performance here. He's had a bit of everything. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it, isn't it? A complete performance. Yeah. Defense has been solid, composed, probing, bombing away with the hard shots. It's been joined up boxing here from Ronnie Nichols as he continues with his own brand of calculated pressure here on top tier boxing momentum. Once again at the top of the car, we got Jordan Perkis taking on Ashley Lane. That is for the English Bantamweight title. We're looking forward to that. And Jack Martin, Ryan Maycock in the co-main events, super welterweight Southern area title. Ryan Maycock winning, of course, the top tier tournament last events in March. And Jack Martin hot off a win at your call. Good to see a quick turnaround there. Yeah. He, um, yeah, he only boxed just recently, but that's the best way he's like to stay busy. Jack's always busy, to be fair. That's why he's, that's why he's always in such great shape and he's got such a good engine. Ricky Leach trying here for a Hail Mary. Trying his hard. Tough man, Ricky Leach. Fighting off the ropes. And a smile and a nod from Ronnie Nichols as if to say yes. Fantastic performance, sir. For both men. Enough from us. Terry Cavanaugh will make this one official for Ronnie Nichols. Ladies and gentlemen, after four great rounds, we go to Bob Williams' scorecards. Four will score the contest, 40 points to 36 in favor of your winner, who now moves to 3-0 in his professional career, Ronnie Nichols! Yeah, I thought it's a good performance. I didn't try not to rush my work. And, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's tough. He can take, he's take a shot. Take a shot, he's good. It's a good learning fight, good learning. Yeah, not many people stop Ricky Leach. Yeah. You were maybe close a few times during that fight. Did you think you were gonna get him out of there? I thought I was gonna get him out of there. I told my dad I'd get him a stoppage for his Father's Day present, so I guess we will go out tomorrow and call him morning and buy him something. But yeah, yeah, at times I did think I could get him out of there, but I didn't want to rush it. I wanted to take my time, I wanted to show a little bit more of a mature performance. Yeah, you certainly did. Comments you were saying it was a very mature performance so early on in your career. What have you been working on in the gym that you showcased in there tonight? Yeah, well, my coach, Sam and Alex, they've been just teaching me to just, just slow down from the amateurs and take my time and show what I can do. Yeah, no, I can't thank them enough. They're doing great with me, Sam and Alex. So it's a quick turnaround from your last fight. What is next for you? When are we going to next see you out? I'd like to get out in September. And then now, before I know, I'm 19, so I don't want to rush my career. I want to take my time and we'll see what's next after that. We have to finish off with a word to your army of supporters here tonight. There's a lot of support in the room for you. Yeah, I can't thank my support enough. Like, they come out every time in numbers. I thank them a lot. Can I, can I get some noise? Well done, Ronnie. Fantastic performance.
Thank you.